Welcome to Field of Glory 2 Medieval. Uh, this is not my normal fare. This is a playthrough of Tutorial 2. I noticed a number of comments uh, in both the Slytherin and Steam forums that people were having trouble with this mission. So I'm just going to give it a quick playthrough. We have the Pomeranian Army. So we've got Knights, Heavy Spearmen, Medium Foot in the form of Axemen and Prussian Warriors, Impact Swords. The Master Archers, more Knights. The Teutonic Order has Crossbowmen, so 50% Sword Crossbow. Baltic Levies, so not Impact, Medium Foot. Some Defensive Spearmen, some Mounted Crossbowmen, Annoying, and Knights. So the first thing to do is redeploy the army and make it suited to the terrain. Okay, so I have played this mission once before during beta testing. Uh, I don't really remember what I did last time, but this time I'm just dumping three units of medium foot in the marsh because they are only moderately disordered. So once the enemy's medium foot come into the marsh, uh, they'll also be moderately disordered and we can fight them. Otherwise, we can try to push out into this open ground, so long as the knights are no longer threateningly nearby. Light archers to shoot up and disrupt them out to crossbowmen. Prussian noble cavalry. Uh, these guys have a light spear. They really cannot stand up to knights, and they're not very good at frontally charging infantry, but they can run down ranged troops, and that's what we have them here for. We have the rest of our medium foot here, again, opposing the crossbowmen, who are the greatest danger to our knights. Some defensive spearmen with masked archers to shoot between the gaps. Note that the masked archers are moderately disordered. I'll want to move into open terrain to undisorder them so they can shoot more effectively. Not to mention my poor knights who are severely disordered in the marsh. So, let's end our turn. Looks like we start... Yes, there's going to be a lot of that. These are all great concepts. Uh, I already know these. I assume, if you're watching this, that you might have had trouble with this tutorial and you've already read these. I'm just going to click through. Oh, they remain steady. Too bad. Um, in that case, we'll push out. Note that I pushed out here instead of here. If we moved to this tile here, we would be within the stationary shooting arc of this unit which gives them a bonus to their shooting. No thank you. Crossbows have a range of four, so maybe I'll shuffle just out of crossbow shot. These knights have a movement range of three, so again, we'll move just forward and see what kind of a response we get. Okay, so the medium foot is coming for us. We're outnumbered by one unit there. That could be a problem, but I'm honestly not that worried about it. Okay, so here come the knights with their spearmen behind. Lovely. Uh, normally I would stay stationary and shoot again, but I want to get out of the way of our Prussian warriors. So instead, we will shuffle out and shoot. So you can see here, when I hover over, movement modifier stationary, plus 20%, casualties, 4 to 14. So when I do this, moved, minus 20%, so it's a total 40% difference, casualties 2 to 8. I disrupt, that means they'll evade I'm unlikely to catch them charging from this distance of two tiles away at the start of my turn, but, well, maybe what I'll do then, I'll move here, here I can tank a volley next turn, and in exchange, hopefully shoot them down to fragmented. And we advance to pressure the crossbowmen. Good. Now... Let's see, unfortunately I'm going to have to turn one 
to concentrate enough fire to maybe force a cohesion check this turn. Good. Disruption. And then what? Let's attempt to get pressure on the disrupted unit. I'm going to leave spaces so we can maneuver. Yeah, that seems good. And here, we'll probably actually lose this fight due to being somewhat outnumbered, but that's okay. Crossbows really aren't that effective against troops who aren't armored. So our impact foot should be at a big advantage against these light spear foot, but because we're moderately disordered, it kind of deadens the impact effect a bit is more in the favor of bad troops. If you have worse troops, you want to fight in terrain that disorders both units. Okay, so we're going to have to waste our potential by turning before shooting again. Does not result in a cohesion check this time. I'm going to do something I normally would advise against doing. Shoot a half arc at long range, just in the off chance. Nope. Alright, stay still and shoot. They hold firm. We'll do it again next turn before we charge. Oh no, I'll... the secondary zone of control of this unit is blocking my Prussian warriors from charging, so the hell with it. We're going in there. will bounce because this is so disordering for cavalry. So they'll probably just run away. Oh, that's fine. Worst things have happened. Good. Note that the crossbowmen have no impact capability. We have impact foot plus 200. Although this unit has a general on it. It does get 50. Which means that in a melee, if they don't drop cohesion, we're actually even. So they get 50% swordsmen plus 50 for a general. Okay, so it evens out. So this is kind of nothing much here. Uh, it could go either way. We're not going to worry ourselves about it. Okay. We are down a few POA here, I think. Let's see. Yep. Plus 12 for the enemy. The Teutonic Knights are highly superior. We'll charge this disrupted unit. I was hoping for more than that. And let's see. Slow up these Order Knights. Actually, that's okay right there. Threaten a flank if they do move forward at all. Put a commander in here. I think we might need him soon. Right. Impact. And impact again. Held firm. And we hold firm, that was nice. We're up 12 POA, but we've taken enough casualties that we're starting to suffer more from combat strength modifier. Basically, once you start losing men, you suffer from that, unless you have large size units of deep spearmen and the like. Lovely, so they'll be back, and that's a shame. I was hoping for a frag and break, not to be lucky, but they held firm. Okay, we're going to have to try to rescue these knights now. shoot and get ready for another charge. So next turn I'll will have started my turn one tile away, which means either they won't try to evade because it's too close, or they'll try to evade and I'll have a good chance of catching them. So evaders and pursuers have a 
50% chance to move their normal movement allotment, 25% chance to move one tile less, and 25% chance to move one tile more. Note that with knights, there's an exception when they are pursuing, they do move like other non-light cavalry, so four tiles instead of three is considered their base during pursuit. Pursuit, rather. Um, so, let's threaten a charge here. Keep up this melee. And loose. And loose. Held firm. Too bad. Let's get ready to lend a hand here. This does kind of jam things up. It's too bad. I might want to move these defensive spearmen. But maybe... Hmm. Nowhere really useful they can go. The only way to get them out of the way would be to turn around and march. That's three turns to turn, move, and turn. But then again, I probably have three turns to do that. We'll wait on it. Take a risk. Let's add one more volley of arrows. They hold firm again. Tab is the key to see unmoved units. L is the list of units. They disrupt, although that doesn't really matter because moderate disorder is pretty close to the same as a uh, disruption. One more volley and charge. They evade. We catch them, so they automatically drop. And they auto break as a result of casualties. So, auto break is when a unit just breaks because it's taken too many casualties, regardless of cohesion state. For average units, that's 50%. Let's charge in support of our other knights. Good. And once again, pour in some more arrows. They still hold firm, but they're close to auto break. Next turn, we can empty our quivers and then move up with our knights. In the meantime, let's charge. And this should be good. Knightly Lancers, plus 200 troop quality, plus 50 against Light Spear. 100 troop quality minus 12. They held firm, so we'll have to slug it out in the melee. Okay, now this is bad because we're disordered and they're disrupted. If they rally, they'll be steady and we'll be at a disadvantage. Hopefully, these cavalry stop pursuing as they reach the forest. I can turn them around and get them back in a couple of turns. losing unit on this right wing. I was afraid of that earlier. And the turn. Good, so we stop pursuing so we reach disordering terrain. That doesn't always happen, but it usually happens. Excellent. Breaking the knights is more important than anything. So 
So now they're fragged. Just one step away from broken. Well, first we turn around to our Prussian noble cavalry. I don't want to move here on the off chance that I do win a combat. I want to push them into the open and my own unit into the open. Because right now we are attacking from disordering terrain into open terrain. So here he's threatening a flank charge. We'll pour in our last volley of arrows. And we actually auto broke them. Break? What happens? Oh, exposed flank. It's not ideal. Could be worse. Good. Now let's get our knights forward. Is that worth it? No. So defensive spearmen, or really any infantry spearmen, get zero POA of charging lancers. So although they're disrupted, we'd still be down the maximum 200 POA. We have 46% chance to lose. On the other hand, we're winning anyway and it would speed things up. So maybe I take the risk. I would never do this against Steady Knights unless I could set up something very nice as a result. The gamble did pay off this time, but it was definitely a gamble making a mistake. Good. Now we're not in a flankable position. They did hold firm. Being trapped in a melee against spearmen is not good for knights, nice, even if they can do well in the impact phase. Okay, let's prepare to add the weight of are the not great numbers admittedly of our light archers to the charge. A flank charge by light troops into non-light troops won't cause an automatic drop. And in fact, light infantry can't charge non-light troops in open terrain. Lucky here, they fragged. Probably try to rescue this unit. It's almost down to half strength. It's dangerous. They held. Surprising. What about you? Good. A frag. Now we'll charge with this unit. And we fall back. I'm not sure that I want to charge in yet because we'll be pinned with no room to fall back if we do. So instead, I'm going to wait for a second here. Alright, so with this we have steady spearmen, so because our spearmen are steady, the enemy's swordsman ability does not come into play at all. For mounted swordsmen, for infantry swordsmen, it has it. Now, the enemy is still up 100 advantage because they have armor, armor, troop quality in general, as opposed to our spearmen. But they're disrupted and grossly outnumbered for the casualties they've taken. Looks like we'll want to shift our archers to the right. They don't have a melee ability, but they are only moderately disordered in the marsh, so we might need their help over here, the way things are going. 
We'll lose this unit on the right, but I'm hoping to not lose more than that. Send the light archers over as well. Okay. Not surprising. Uh, units with generals on them test to rally from disrupted or fragged every turn. Yeah, we've got to break this deadlock to free up our knights. Good, a break. No drops, though. That's too bad. One more. Still nothing. Alright. Let's see. So the knights will be controllable next turn as they won't want to go into that marsh. I'm rethinking this somewhat. Maybe if I can... Hmm. Well, first, let's try for this charge. They hold firm. Too bad. We'll try to set up a flank attack next turn. Good. Held firm, held firm. Ugh. Next turn we can make room for these knights to fall back if any are still left. Let's make way for the cavalry. We'll move here. No, that's not going to work, is it? Ah, you're so in the way. Nope, we have reduced command and control, so we don't get a free 45 degree turn. I could charge these crossbowmen and see if they run this way, and I could rear charge, but they also might run this way and would have wasted my time. Let's find out. Definitely wasted my time. Great. This unit's on the verge of auto break, regardless of winning a combat here and there. There they go. Well, we almost had a perfect score. So, there we go. Uh, so, that explains the scoring system. Uh, pretty simple once you know how the game system works. Medium foot in the marshes. Archers, somewhere they can shoot safely. In this case, behind a wall of spearmen with knights nearby ready to help. Knights in open terrain only. Nothing else ever. Uh, and then keeping room to fall back with your knights if you can. And sometimes you want to just delay where you know you're going to lose, like this was just a delay, but it didn't matter because by delaying these four units and by crucially using up the attention of the crossbowmen who are so dangerous to knights, we were able to win in the center of the field. So I don't know if people have had equal trouble with a third tutorial scenario. Uh, if you do, let me know below and I can play through that real quick as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, have no fear, there is more multiplayer Fog 2 Medieval content on the way.